Listen, I've seen a lot of you streamers and podcasters and those of you on YouTube recording into microphones that look really nice on camera, but they're not really designed for the conditions that you're recording in, like untreated rooms like a home office, for example, where you've got a lot of flat walls and a lot of echoing and a lot of sounds bouncing around. So I've heard what those microphones sound like, and it's not pretty. You might know those other microphones that I'm talking about, but this, the Audio-Technica ATR2100X USB is a great microphone that you should consider if you're recording speaking, like talking into a microphone on a stand like this, or singing. I know it doesn't look as impressive as those other microphones, but the sound, the sound is great. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by giving you some advice on on-the-go audio recording with a review of this Audio-Technica ATR2100X USB microphone. Now, normally when I'm shooting a video, whether it's indoors or I'm traveling, I use a boom microphone like this that's hidden just out of the frame. Now, the advantage is you don't see the microphone on camera, but the disadvantage is the microphone is a lot further away from my mouth so it picks up a lot of ambient sounds, whether it's footsteps or cars driving by, all sorts of things. And I imagine for a lot of you who are recording or doing video conferencing or having meetings from home, those kind of things or streaming or doing stuff, you know, basically in an untreated room, you're gonna be in a similar situation. So you want a microphone like this Audio-Technica, which does a much better job of getting your voice clearly. So there's less editing if you have to do with the microphone, with the audio that it produces, or basically no editing because the microphone picks up your sound so much more crisply than something like a boom microphone, which is a little bit further away. And the same goes for those popular microphones that I've been talking about. Those microphones aren't necessarily designed to be used in a situation where the room is untreated. So where the room has walls that don't have any padding to absorb sound waves, where there's a lot of ambient noise, cars driving by, dogs barking next door, all of those things. Here's why you might wanna consider something like this, the ATR2100X to do your recording. It is a great microphone. There's a lot packed inside of this small iconic shaped body. And for the price, it is one of the best microphones you can get for singing or spoken word. And because a microphone review requires microphone audio, just know that from this point on in the video, everything you're listening to was recorded on this 2100X, so you can get an idea of what the audio sounds like and what this microphone is capable of. The ATR2100X is the updated version of the ATR2100, which I've used extensively for recording the Fox Nomad podcast over the past few years. The new ATR2100X has similar guts and a very similar sound profile, but comes with some useful updates. It's still the classic microphone shape, but this time around the base of the microphone is black with a silver metal grill up on top. Aesthetically, I like this look better. It makes the ATR2100X look more premium than its actual price is, plus the grill really pops on camera. And if you're gonna be recording or streaming online, having a good looking microphone makes a better viewing experience for your audience. The ATR2100X is also nearly the exact same size as the previous 2100, standing 183 millimeters long and 51 meters in diameter. It weighs 268 grams and has a single on-off switch for recording. My suggestion would be in most cases to leave the microphone set to on, even when it's not plugged in, because this blue indicator light just shows you that the microphone is plugged in, not that it's recording. That can get confusing and lead to some missed recordings. Believe me, I've been there. Another thing I want to note about this on-off switch is that it can be pushed down, sort of like a button, but it's not a button and doesn't do anything, at least as far as I can tell, but it is really confusing. Audio-Technica, please either make it a button or don't make it clickable. The rest of the functions of the microphone, though, are all through the bottom, and there aren't that many. There's an XLR port for analog recording, as well as a port for USB-C, which is a nice update for the 2100X. That means you can plug in this microphone directly to your laptop using USB-C for recording audio for use with Zoom or some other conferencing software. But in case you still want to use USB-A to do all of those things, Audio-Technica provides you with a cable to do that too. For newer Mac users though, USB-C means one less dongle or adapter that you have to carry. The ATR2100X also has a microphone jack if you want to plug it in to monitor your audio. The dial next to the headphone jack controls the headphone volume. Swipe right to volume up, 
left for down, and push up and to the right to lock the volume dial in place. So although it's small, you get a lot from this physical package. You get an XLR port, a USB-C port, so you can plug it directly into your laptop and just start recording, which makes it very versatile, very easy to use right out of the box. And being a dynamic microphone means that there aren't a lot of moving parts in the 2100X. Those little elements that vibrate and pick up sound, they're not too sensitive. So you can throw this microphone into your bag. So if you're traveling, it's a very durable microphone, which is another benefit of the 2100X. You can also go handheld or use a microphone stand like this ultralight Hamilton I've been using. The portable stand that comes with the 2100X though is, well, better than the previous version, but not really something you'd use on a regular basis. It's flimsy, and if you don't place the microphone in it just right, you'll totally tip it over. Now, so many online reviews complain about this little mini microphone stand that the 2100X comes with, I'm surprised Audio-Technica even bothers to keep including it. But the way I look at it is this. You're not going to use this microphone stand on a daily basis. This is not going to be your everyday microphone stand. It just gets you going right out of the box if you want a stand to use. And it can be a good, really portable travel stand if you need it. So if you're in a pinch or you're just taking a quick flight, maybe for a day or two, and you know you're going to be doing some meetings or some recording on the road, then this can get you through that. It's not your everyday microphone stand but hey they include it which is not a bad thing can be useful from time to time but in most cases if you're going to be recording on a regular basis you're probably going to want to pick up something like this microphone stand which i'll link to in the description below okay so this is a pretty solid microphone but how does it sound well you've been listening to how it sounds over the past few minutes but microphones are more than just the sum of their parts they each pick up sounds in different ways the 2100X is a cardioid microphone, meaning it's designed to pick up sound that's directly in front of it, about the distance of your fist. That might sound obvious, but some microphones are designed to pick up sounds that are around them or behind the microphone too. It really depends on the situation you're recording in. Now when I'm on the road traveling, having a boom or shotgun microphone is easier to work with because I can place it directly on top of the camera, but it also picks up some of that ambient sound that's going on around me. The street life, the noise, the sound of the people, all that stuff which makes for a good travel video. But if I'm recording a podcast, for example, I don't necessarily want ambient sounds. I don't want echoes. I really want to get the clarity of just my voice speaking. And this 2100X isn't very sensitive. I mean, you can hear it as I sort of move back from the microphone, as I sort of move toward the microphone, as I move away from the microphone around to the side. You can kind of hear that my sound is going up and down dramatically based on this distance. And that's what you want when you're filming indoors. You want a microphone that's not particularly sensitive. You want something that's just going to pick up right what's around it and not all this other stuff that could be happening around you. Now, as great as this microphone is, one thing I do recommend getting is something like this Mutter windscreen, which I'll leave a link to in the description. It can help cut down things like plosives, which are those p p plosive sounds, plosive, p plosive, or mouth clicks that all that kind of stuff that you normally, if you're doing streaming or podcast recording, you're probably going and editing all of those out. But if you just add one of these, there's going to be less for you to have to edit out. And if you're not editing your audio at all, one of these is definitely going to cut down on all those pu pu plosive sounds that really can get annoying on an hour long conference call. Also improved, the 2100X has a higher 24 bit rate than the 16 of its predecessor, which gives digital recording devices more data to work with. That might not immediately translate into noticeably better sound, but if you work with audio and post, you've got more to work with now. You've also got sample rates up to 192 kilohertz. Again, more data to work with. The 2100X tends to accentuate deeper tones, so it gives you this nice, boomy radio voice without being too over the top. So if you're recording podcasts, streaming, or you just do a lot of video conferencing, for the price, the portability, and just the overall toughness, it's hard to find a better alternative than this 2100X microphone. That's my review of the Audio-Technica ATR 2100X USB-C microphone. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week and I will see you in the next video. too bad and uh, what a blast for you to have to blue for your vulnerability to blue